biology and I'd be like, is this thing actually real? But like, it's real. It, um, like it makes, it makes sense. And, um, like, um, I'm born 2002. What year would that be? Would that be the year of the horse? And, um, for the year of the cat, cat what should I do? Yeah, because if usually a lot of people born in that January, February coast are usually the previous year. You're born after that, so you're year of the horse. Um, 2002 overall is year of the horse. Um, people who are born year of the horse, uh, you can tell usually in physical features, they usually nine times in have a long neck. Um, they're usually very, very, um, good at working very hard as far as endurance. Look at the horse, the animal, very, very good at endurance. That's one of their strengths, outworking people. Look at guys like Clay Thompson, he came back from the injury, he played for the Golden State Warriors, he outworked everybody and came back and was playing at the level, not the level he was before, but horses are very, very tough. I would say horse is definitely one of the smarter signs. Horse is a seventh sign. You can see how the numerology lines up as well. Um, usually something you'll be good at is computer science. Anything based on the internet, you'd be very good at that as well in a different lifetime. So, scientists, computer science, internet. Um, and also, I would say, um, you're somewhat stubborn. Um, you're very stubborn. Don't be stubborn just for the case of being stubborn. And you're not always right about everything. So, consider other people's viewpoints. Don't be stubborn just in the case of being stubborn. I know that's you're very stubborn. Don't, don't lie about it. I know you're stubborn. Yes, always consider that somebody else is right, okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. You're not. Really